we have somebody I don't know what he's saying here let's watch it in the screen I guess he's from Indonesia I don't know if he's a Muslim there's one unwritten rule regarding debate in Indonesia when losing debate then you must enter the winning religion that is that is why Islam always speak of dialogue I never heard of Islam speak of dialogue Islam speak of dialogue so why Muhammad he killed his enemies who don't accept when the Christians they came to Muhammad and they said to him we want to debate you do you know what Muhammad he did let us curse each other that is the dialogue you are talking about obviously you are an ignorant you do not know what are you talking about this is the Quran chapter 3 verse number 61 a bunch of Christians came to debate Muhammad what Muhammad he did did he refute them he did debate them no he says whoever disputes you about concerning Isa Jesus after the knowledge has come to you okay tell them tell them huh? come come let us call, call our sons and our your sons you idiot those are bishops they don't have sons they don't have wives our women and your women ourself and yourself and then we pray and invoke sincerely the curse of Allah upon the one who lied you see the stupidity where is the guy who said to me dialogue this is dialogue cursing party I debate with the Muslim according to this he will take the mic may Allah kill me and cut my toes if I'm lying you're a terrible Christian prince uh, uh, may Allah uh, you know uh, uh, shorten my beard from 21 meter to 20 if I'm lying your turn I pray to Allah if I'm lying that Allah will make me even more skinny so when you turn the fan and it will make me fly dialogue I mean this is the most stupid comment ever I heard since when Muslims have dialogue isn't it the Quran in chapter 9 verse 29 says kill those who don't believe in Allah this is dialogue I mean, look how they fool you. We are people who believe in dialogue. Are you sure? Right away after Muhammad, he got his army. He had men to kill. No dialogue, kill anyone. And even when before, look at this dialogue. Let us curse. Okay, may Allah cut your shish kebab if you are lying. Your turn. What this is? If I am debating someone, he is a Hindu, and he said to me, I believe in 36 million gods. Should I say to him, you are lying, you don't believe in that, you idiot? That's what he believes, he's not lying. There's a huge difference between a person who believes in a lie and a person who is a liar. Correct, guys? Because if I am a Hindu and I believe in a belief, like let's say some, they worship rats. Okay, for me, rats are not God, this is a lie, but he's not a liar. The person himself who believe in that is not a liar. He's a, he's a truthful. He believe in it. So here you see that the one who made this verse is a donkey. The one who made this verse is a donkey. If I'm debating with a Muslim and he is truthful, he say, I believe that Muhammad is a prophet. Muhammad is a false prophet. He's a liar. But the person who believe he is not lying to me about what he believe. So this is a stupid statement. What dialogue? When you have a dialogue, you cannot speak to a turtle. Muhammad, he have a brain of a turtle. Like Nancy Bellusi. Can you even find me somebody who have an, an IQ to talk to me? This is why they don't dare to call me. This is why they don't dare to debate me. Their IQ is in the bye-bye. We Muslim, we have dialogue. Since when? Last time I called Mimi, he played for me a video. I was saying to a Muslim woman, second me, but the coward, he cut my video. It was her, she was insulting Jesus. And I said to her, the prophet said, they second me. Cowards, since when you have the yellow? You have mockery. You have bully. You have lies and you have violence. And yet you claim that you are a person of dialogue. And here we go. I am here, who want to debate me and make me lose, and then I will accept Islam, so I can get the 70 turtle. I like to have 70 turtle. Are you sure those are versions of turtles? I mean, the idea even to accept 
that there is a God, he will give you a lot of women for sex, it, it proved to me that you must be stupid and mental. You open the box like we are here, the women Allah promise us, and they start jumping on you like, what is that? You know, when you talk to a, a person who's a thinker, someone who spends his life studying, you know, deep, uh, trying to observe this amazing world, and then you say to him, I will give you a box of women. I mean, what, what is that? Is that the priceless gift of God? The promise alone is a stupid. I'm not talking about him, I'm talking about their logic. Uh, We know what kind of God he promised me women with big boobs. What if I like them small? Huh? I mean, they have to be big? How big? How big they are? Why this God is focusing in the boobs of the women and their size? This is going to be God. Brother, if you believe in Prophet Muhammad, brother, you will get women with seven boobs, brother. Seven boobs, brother? Yes, brother, seven boobs. Booby, booby? Yes, brother. Like the one we saw in cartoons, Scooby Doo? Scooby, Scooby Doo. This is God. This is God is trying to make me believe by talking about the size of the boobs. Beep, beep. Beep, beep. And Jibreel just now told me 